Hey everyone, it's Mick Mage here, and welcome to Spirit Fairer. This time around, I'm just going to be showing you my favorite parts of Spirit Fairer. As you can see, I've obviously played this before, but I'm going to show you, like I said, my favorite parts. Or I might do just a really casual type of playthrough where I skip through all the quote-unquote boring parts. So let's get started. This is one of my favorite parts, obviously, because it's the first little graphic we get of Stella and Daffodil. With this music playing in the background, it's fantastic. Ah, uh, finally. I thought for a second you would never wake up, little one. How ironic that would have been, would it not? I'm Charon. Hi, Charon. The spirit fair. Well, that is what I have been until your arrival. I cannot say that I am sad to leave, but I still had a few things left to do here. I'm afraid you will have to pick up things where I left them. It is, after all, my very last day. And you are? Stella. Welcome, Stella. I see you have brought a friend here with you. What's his name? Daffodil. Daffodil. I see. You two will share the burden, then. And take it over from me. As I said, in a few minutes, I will be gone from this world. And that is why you are here. You will be the new Spiritfarer. Listen, your task here will be far from easy, but simple nonetheless. Go fetch the stray spirits stranded on the islands, and when they are ready, bring them back here. Dying souls can't pass away on their own. You will have to help them fulfill their last requests and be at their service until their last breath. The big round bridge over there is the Everdor. The Alpha, where everything starts. The Omega, where everything ends. This is where all the quests get completed and where existence meets its threshold. There is no task more important than this one. Never forget this, Stella. Here, there is something I need to give you. Now, be really careful with it. It is the Everlight. The symbol of your status here, and the only tool you will ever need. Wait, what are you... <laughs> oh, how highly inappropriate. <laughs> well, that settles it. The Everlight will help you through your travels. It will be the light that shines in the darkness, the last remaining hope of the departed. Hope is a flame, the light that never falters, the beacon of eternity. It is heavy and inconvenient, but there is no greater duty than this one. The fate of lost souls rests on your shoulders. Look, I was overwhelmed too at first. Just try to keep your focus. Take it one step at a time. You will soon get used to this place accustomed to these moments. You are the new spirit farers, after all. Oh, one last thing. Once I am gone, you will have to find a ship of your own. Mine is not suited for you, and it will fade away once I am gone. You might find one not too far from here, if you keep rowing in the right direction for some time. Pro probably. 
It's time. Here I go. <laughs> so long, Stella, and good luck. You will need it. Bye, Caron. I'm going to try my best to do voices for everyone. But it might not work out. Especially deep ones like Charon, but... His passing... Oh! Well, there goes our boat. His passing and all the other spirits that we meet are... One of my favorite parts about... Um, oh, hello! About this game. Because it's... So beautiful. So well done. Stella? It really is you. Stand up straight and let me get a look at you. Mm. Also, I try to base voices off of their little, like, hmm, or like, like, oh, or whatever they do. You look good. And Daffodil is here too, I see. Mm. We'll have to find a lint roller then. <laughs> we will. Ah, uh, it might not be that obvious after all. Mm. It's me, Gwen. Good thing you found me. But if you're here, it means... Oh. You are the new spirit, Farah. Mm. You are the one replacing Charon. I was trying to get rid of him and only ended up here by accident. I've been stuck on this disgusting island for about a week, living off sardines and cigarettes. Mm. I love how I went British to now, like, I don't even know. Funny how I used to be the one getting you out of trouble before. I can see you have an Everlight now. Mm. Of course. See that boat over there? Boat? Oh! Boat. It's kinda dirty. It's got a- it's got a bell. Mm -hmm. I like bells. That's the one. Mm -hmm. It's obviously slightly shabby, but let's commandeer it. I'd wager it'll work, since you're the spirit fairer. Okay. Meet me on the deck over there. I'll explain it all. Will do! I'm very glad that worked. Uh, ooh, a couch. <gasps> oh, I can sit on the couch. I forgot. This is also one of my favorite things about this game, <laughs> is anywhere you sit, if Daffodil can reach you, Daffodil's going straight in your lap. I think it's the bee's knees. Okay, here goes. Hope my fur coat won't be too damaged. Oh, my eyeballs. Gwen! Gwen's voice is going to change so often throughout this. And I might abandon the voices, like, not even halfway through. But we'll try our best. Wonderful. I'm not one to jump for joy, but this feels good. Much better than anticipated. So, the way I see it, this boat is yours now. Don't you think? Good. And, as you're the spirit fairer, welcoming stray spirits is your new job, and once aboard, they will assume their true forms. Mm -hmm. Well, it's my theory, anyway. Why are you looking at me like mm. that? You need to come here and give me a hug. <gasps> I'll gladly give you a hug, Gwen. New request. Mm. Personal connection. Mm. Oh my god, that's so cute. Much better. Come with me now. Let's take a look at this chaos. Chaos! Slightly chaotic. Mm -hmm. Can I go on- oh! It's a bit chaotic. Mm -hmm. What a mess. Reminds me of Aunt Petunia's old yard. A beautiful, unorganized testament to someone's laziness. Mm -hmm. Or a vital impossibility- um, <laughs> Or a vital impossibility to get rid of anything. At any rate, we should do something about this, or my dust allergies will be back. Do you still have allergies when you're dead? Okay. Let me think. There is only one way to clean this up. You have to meet Albert. Oh. He's your local shipwright. And his jokes are garbage. But he's the only one who can fix your boat. Oh. We should head to Albert's shipyard. You must be wondering how to make this ship move. Oh. It's really easy, actually. Here, let me give you this key I found in the island. 
on the island. <laughs> it will unlock. It will unlock that cabin in the back. You should find a map projector in there. How do I know all this? Well, I was planning an escape, remember? Mm -hmm. And you know me. I plan things meticulously. Very mm -hmm. meticulously. So, open up that cabin, mm -hmm. Stella. The map projector should be simple enough to use, and you should just have to get to Albert's shipyard. <laughs> Will do, Gwen. ding a ling a ling a ling Oh. Oh, it's locked. Press tab to review active requests. <gasps> How cute. That's sail, Captain, by Gwen. Start your boat in Stella's cabin. Oops. We're going... to visit Albert in the shipyard. In Albert shipyard. Let's go. Stella! Mm. As I understand, this ship is powered by your Everlight. It is. That's how it cruises the ocean and reveals the stray spirits. It also explains why I couldn't do anything by myself. Mm. You must admit, it's quite fascinating. Look, I know you must feel overwhelmed. Charon, the Evador, the Spirit Fairers, this place, this boat, me being here. It's a lot. You must be wondering what is going on. Mm. Truth be told, I don't really know either. But I'm here for you. I'll do my best to help you and try to make mm. sense of it all. As I said earlier, I just wanted to leave by myself, but somehow I just couldn't. Now that I see you, I think I know why. I'll give you some space for now. Don't hesitate to explore this ship. Mm -hmm. You can even give that fishing rod a try. The world is your oyster. ding a ling a ling, -a -ling. Mm -hmm. Oh. Sorry. You need to calm down with that bell. When you ring it at night, people will get up. Nobody likes to be woken up, especially me. Yes, ma'am. Let's go fish a lish a lish a ling. Because I'm not allowed to ring the bell. Apparently. Oh, I'm a holden. Oh, I'm a holden. I got a herring. Del <laughs> de delicious. Exactly what I wanted. Oh my god, daffodils yawn. Zoom in on that. Zoom in on that yawn. Oh, daffodils down. Me too, daffodil. Um, I have two fish for us. I'm gonna... Can't really explore anything else. Whoa! Another one of my favorite things is that you can bend down and just... Just give daffodil some love. Alrighty. Go team! Oh my god, that was such a leap. Here we are. Albert's shipyard discovered! Hey. Now, head down to Albert's shipyard and upgrade your blueprint station. It's the only way to clear this clutter. I'm curious about what it's all made of. Hey. About what it's all made of. Considering the smell, I'd say at least seven different types of dirt and dust. You know, you're probably not wrong. If it's been sitting here for who knows how long. Albert! Oh my god. Can I do that voice? Welcome <laughs> Welcome to my shipyard, young traveler. <laughs> Where my price is our customer's best friend. I'm Albert. Been in the business of shipbuilding for ages. Should I assume you're the new spirit fairer? I am. Well, of course you are. He sounds like a really bad pirate. Anyway, you've been able to start the ship and bring it here after all. Gwen was right to point you towards my humble enterprise. Ha, let me see what you have here. Nice little dinghy. I want to call that thing a dinghy. Funny how it looks exactly like the one I'd built some time ago and stored in my old shipyard. <clears throat> Funny, huh? <laughs> See, Charon was unhappy about his gloomy and dank arc. <laughs> Actually, he was always complaining about everything, but the customer's always right. So I built him a newer, better one. Of course, he would have never abandoned his previous boat. Old habits die hard. But don't worry, you can keep this one. 
Let's just call this alone. And let me tell you something. This kind of hurts my throat. You know we always joke about the construction here. Don't worry. We're still working on it. Oh my god. Anyway, with a little love again. With a little bit of love again. This bird will be resplendent again. I think I messed that up, but okay. The first thing you'll need is a proper blueprint table. Since it's your lucky day and I'm feeling generous, I'll offer it to you. Free of charge. Mind you, it's just a bit bare bones in terms of functionality. But the subsequent upgrades will come at such a small price, you'll want to buy them almost immediately. Simply direct me to upgrade the ship. Alrighty then. Uh, blueprint station. Beginner. Doesn't cost anything. Boat size. And boat improvements. Ooh, a mailbox! Alrighty. You'll be able to build and edit your buildings on the boat. What a treat! But if you really want to upgrade your boat in size and in pleasure, I'm your guy. Come back when you feel your boat is getting too crowded. Cheers! Thank you, Albert. Very kind, very kind. Oh god, I forget the voice I already did for Gwen. Good. Good. <laughs> Albert gave it to you for free. And he said he loaned the ship to you? Mm -hmm. Ominous. Hard to know what he has in mind, but it doesn't sound reassuring. Anyway, let's focus on the task at hand for now. Mm -hmm. Cleaning up this deck. You'll go to your new blueprint table above your cabin and select the move option. In it, you'll be able to remove any building and get back resources. Mm. Go for it. I'll wait down here. On it, Gwen. Edit. Junk. Oh. Are you sure you want to salvage this building? You'll get back the resources. The following resources. 20 maple logs, 3 bottles, 2 shoes, and 1 carpet. Sure. Can I... No, I can't build or anything. Okay, cool. Wonderful. You did a wonderful job, Stella. And the good news is that you have enough resources to add a guest house to your ship. A necessary amenity. Newly welcomed spirits, such as myself, will have a temporary place to relax and sleep. Well, sleep not really. I can tell you for sure that no one will be thrilled to spend more than one night in there. Mm -hmm. But it beats sleeping on the deck. Touche. The stars are pretty, but the wood is stiff and the humidity is hard to tolerate. I'll leave it to you. I'll leave you to it. Have fun. Alrighty. I, I will build... Ooh, a field, a garden, a kitchen house uh let's, let's let's put it on the side can i build anything else no cool i want to go in first oh I, sorry i oh my god look at the little book oh i wanted to look at the picture again this guest house is very pretty <laughs> it has your touch nice work as usual now, at last, I have a place to sit down and enjoy the view. Oh, wait. What is going on? Something else is happening. Ah, I should have expected this. I'm actually hungry. Very hungry. You know how terrible a cook I am, but I remember you being absolutely fantastic at it. And you might have finished... Nope, finished. And you may have fished a few fishes already. Trouble is, I can't really eat an entire raw fish. I did try. <laughs> Not sushi. I could try for sure, but I'll probably choke on the fishbone and never survive. Babe, aren't you already dead? Okay. Mm -hmm. That's not how you want me to go. As absurd as this sounds. So you should keep on using your blueprint table of yours. This blueprint table of yours. And build a kitchen aboard. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure I've seen the plans for it in there. Yeah, but I don't have... As well as the necessary resources. Damn, you require bright jelly, mm -hmm. and there's only one way to get some. I... Mm -hmm. Look, I should have told you when you first, when I first met you here. Something scares the hell mm -hmm. out of me. A dark presence, and even I cower from it. A void that swallows all, light included. It can take many forms, and for me it is always jellyfish. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm fully aware of the irony. The bright jelly you need for the kitchen, well, only these jellyfish can provide it to you. So there is no other option. Mm. I'll have to face my fears. But you're here. 
with you, I can do it. They will appear as dark. They will appear as a dark patch of pure fear on your map, so you can't miss it. Go. I'll take some time to prepare myself. Alrighty. I'll go. I'll go fight the jellyfish for you, Gwenny. Can I call you Gwenny? I don't think I'm gonna call you Gwenny because that's kind of weird. Um. Great. I'll just go to the jellies. Jelly time, jelly time. New request. I get cranky when I'm hungry. Me too. Oh, I was like, I don't think I can make the kitchen. What did we just get done talking about? Shake my head. How many? Oh, I just need three. Okay, that's not bad. Wait. Ten maple logs, so I can't build a garden. And I, can't, I definitely cannot build a... Ah! Field. Ah, you're hungry. Gwen. Unknown favorite food. Unknown likes. Unknown dislikes. Mood perk. Shops for fibers when you're neutral, I guess. Shops for threads when you're happy. And uses the loom. She is optimistic about her new journey, and she was recently hugged. I don't have any food to give you, apparently. Which is just fine. Look at this. I love doing that. It's so cute. Also, in case you're wondering, and in case I do actually put this in a video over oh, here, my face in the top right is only blocking the clock and what is like requests that'll pop up. So you're not missing out on much. And if I think it's important, I'll move my face. Worry not. Damn, here they come. Remember, set your eyes on the bright, on the ones with the bright jelly. It should be visible enough. That said, pop as many as you can. You'll get glims anyway. I'll wait for you inside. It's just too hard for me to stay out there. Okay, go ahead. I believe in you. Thanks, Gwen. I'll try my best. I'm ready. I'm ready. Come back and face me like a man. Yeah. Oh, am I going to be able to jump to get that one? This is so fun. <laughs> oh god. Oh god, you're a lot higher than I thought you would be. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah. Night. Oh, I can't. I can't get on this. Oh, I can. Oh no, that's a big one. I want the big one. Nice. I'm talented or whatever. Where's this one? Right here? About? Also, I hope this isn't too loud on your guys' end. If it is, I'll adjust things. Ah, uh, there we go. Beautiful. Get all the glims. All the monies. All the monies. Nice. Gwen, I did it. Gwen, I did it. Okay. I'm really impressed. You rocked out there tumbling and diving like a shooting star, and without the slightest fear nor hesitation at that. You definitely haven't lost your touch, Stella. And you even gathered enough bright jelly to build a proper kitchen. Go for it. I'll be patiently waiting, slowly digesting myself. Alright, Gwen. Anything for you, Queen? What am I building? A kitchen? Uh, sure, we'll put it there. Why not? Can I build anything else? No? No? Okay, that's fine. Lovely kitchen. Can I travel anywhere else? Do I want to travel anywhere else? I guess not. Just double checking. Hello, Gwen. You can now use the kitchen's oven. It should be rather simple. Put any one ingredient in the oven and wait for it to be cooked. You could even try those loose corn kernels that have been hanging around my pockets. I can't wait to see you in your cooking glory again. You've got this. Why are you upset? Because you're hungry? 
Uh, sure. We'll make corn. Well, you see. Don't ask me how, but I've met Albert already. He definitely is a shark. But his interest in all things maritime will be helpful. Such as the boat upgrades he sells at an outrageously high price. My corn's burning. With those, you were able to cross ominous weather barriers in the world. They look like classical, classic mythical challenges again. Mm. A bit cliche, if you ask me. <laughs> Interesting. Mm. I have corn! I can smell it, she says. Okay, I'm gonna cook fish, too. You know, a meal instead of popcorn. Mm. I could eat anything, just give me some food. Mm. Popcorn? Mm. Well, I won't die just yet. Thanks, like Stella. It's better than I thought it could be. But then again, you've always been a wonder in the kitchen. Don't forget, spirits don't run on sunshine and water. We need a good meal once in a while. It will be up to you to understand who's fond of what. As for me, I'm sure you remember, I've always loved comfort food. And that I would die for a cup of coffee. But I'm not that picky. I can eat anything. Just never the same thing twice. Oh, and before I forget, here's something I was supposed to give you. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but an obble is a symbol of passage. It's a fee each spirit has to pay you. But something tells me you knew that already. Okay, let's keep improving this craft. As you must have seen, in your blueprint table there is both a field and a garden blueprint, which means you can grow many different things and turn this ship into, ador into an adorable farm of sorts. You should add a field first, in my opinion. It's going to be easier to find the resources for it around here. And you can grow linen in it, which in turn will be used to craft more things. In addition to building a field, we should go buy seeds to use in it. But that will come later. Oh, that's going to be so cute to have a little farm on the ship. I need you to visit an island close by. It's called... Moss... Mostein? Mostin? Mostein? Mostein Cove. <laughs> There's something on it we need. I'll tell you when we get there. Okay. Wait, I want to see your conditions. Okay, never mind. You can go sleep or whatever. I guess. My fish is done! Yay! I got grilled fish. Mazel tov. Yay! I got grilled fish. Mazel tov. <laughs> Good lord, I'm getting many requests. Is that all I can cook? Oh, no I'm not. I just got one request. Okay. Where are we going? Mostein. 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 I think it's Steen. Stein. We're gonna keep fishing. Oh. It is too dark to navigate. It- oh. Gwen wants to talk to me. It will be possible again at dawn. Stella! Ah, uh, yes. I forgot to tell you about this. As you can see, this this boat stops at night. I believe it's a side effect of your Everlight being, well, light. Or some other technicality. That being said, it will allow people to sleep undisturbed. You, in the meantime, can do anything you want. Tackle unfinished business, or just chill on the deck under the stars. I'd suggest you go to sleep, too, in that cozy little room atop your cabin. Mm -hmm. You'll wake up refreshed and ready to go, and the ship will start up again in the morning. Oh, and talking about that, you know me. Waking up on time has never been my forte. Mm -hmm. You can ring that big bell over there to wake people up. Remember, only do it at the right time. Mm -hmm. Early morning should do the trick. Speaking of which, time for me to take a nap. See you tomorrow, Stella. Mm -hmm. Have a good night. Good night, Gwen. Sleep well. Girly. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna get these barnacles off of my ship. They look un... un... Ward. When Stella or Daffodil leave the boat, it stops. It will, auto it will restart automatically once everyone is back on board. Can I not? Please. Please, just give me the barnacle. I want it off my ship. It looks crummy. Can I? No, I can't. Okay. Uh, okay. You said build a garden first? A field first? Probably a field. I need 15 maple logs and 3 limestone. Well, 
I think I'm gonna leave that episode here. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to stay tuned for more Spirit Fair things. I don't know if I'm gonna do this as a full casual playthrough yet or not, because I have played it before and I don't want it to be boring for anyone. But if I do, be sure to like, subscribe, ring that cute little notification bell to stay up to date on anything I post, specifically Spirit Fair stuff. <laughs> And let me know down in the comments below if you do, in fact, want to see more Spiritfarer. Alright, see you all later.